To celebrate Columbus Day this week, we're going to look and see how his exploration affected the New World. Christopher Columbus landed in the West Indies in 1492. He was a soldier sent from Spain to discover the New World during the Spanish Conquest. The main problem was that he waged war on the indigenous peoples by bringing his European bacteria to the West Indies. And the Europeans felt that they could claim any land and peoples for their crown just by landing there. The Arawak Indians were an indigenous people that lived peaceably with each other, but they did not have a formal government to protect them like we do. Otherwise, it might have protected them from Columbus making them slaves and taking their land, as well as being exposed to European germs that made the natives sick with disease and almost wiped out their entire population. It is clear that Columbus was impressed by the Arawak tribe as he pointed out. At daybreak, great multitudes of men came to the shore, all young and of fine shape and very handsome. Their hair was loose and coarse like horse hair. All have foreheads much broader than any people I had ever seen. Their eyes are large and very beautiful, end quote. And yet his true intention is clear with these words, quote, I could conquer the whole of them with 50 men and govern as I pleased, end quote. And he did. He kidnapped the natives for his men. He demanded food, gold, and spun cotton to take back to Europe. Christopher Columbus has been celebrated as the hero for discovering that the world was round when he sailed the oceans blue in 1492 to the New World. Recently, historians have discovered that the Spanish conquest not only killed off most of the native population, but it also forced many natives into slavery and took away their religious freedom. Columbus exploited the Native American people. The natives had not been previously exposed to the diseases the Spanish carried with them. This is why it was so difficult for their bodies to fight off this disease. They lived in isolated communities with no regular communication or exposure to a variety of other cultures or peoples. Their isolated lifestyle further reduced their ability to build up an immunity in their bodies. Our bodies naturally have built-in defenses to avoid infection that helps our body fight off any bacteria from Enran, but the natives did not have this ability. Some of the diseases the Spanish carried with them were the flu, smallpox, and diphtheria that spread throughout the native community. This epidemic is blamed for the collapse of the Native American population. History tries to show that Columbus helped the natives, but really it was the natives that helped the explorers. As William Erasmus, a native Indian, declared, explorers you call great men were helpless. They were like lost children, and it was our people who took care of them. Two examples, Christmas Day, 1492. Columbus ran the Santa Maria aground off Haiti. The Arawak people responded in many big canoes and cleared the decks in a short period of time. The chiefs stored the ship's goods and guarded them for Columbus. A second example. On the final voyage, Columbus shipwrecked in Jamaica and the Arawaks nursed 100 men back to health until the Spaniards re rescued them. My point is, history needs to give the natives due credit for being such a skilled and talented people. Thank you.